congratulations. You are pregnant. I am so happy for you. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about an herb that is very important to consider while you're pregnant. Okay, I have recently learned uh, this information in my studies. I am currently with the American College of Healthcare Sciences uh, from Portland, Oregon, and uh, receiving a degree soon in complementary and alternative medicine. So I'm very passionate, especially about herbs um, in reference to natural medicine. And blue cohosh is extremely important to consider while pregnant because traditionally midwives used black cohosh to induce labor. And there still might be some out there that still do. And this is now known to be a very dangerous, very dangerous uh, way of inducing labor, okay? It is not healthy for the mother and extremely, extremely dangerous and uh, can actually even uh, kill the baby. So let's get into it. This is going to be just a few minutes long, but packed with full of information so that you can get the most out of your precious time. Okay, so uh, blue cohosh is not to be uh, confused with black cohosh. Those are two separate herbs. Yes, they are both emenagogues, which means they do both help with the female reproductive system, but they are not the same herb. And blue cohosh is really a fantastic herb for quite a few things. Um, it actually helps with rheumatism. So if you have pain and inflammation in your muscles and joints, it can help with that. Um, and actually it can help expel the afterbirth from having a baby. It helps for after childbirth. Um, it also, as far as the reproductive system goes, it helps with menstrual cramps, can also stimulate menstrual flow. So if you are missing your periods and you should be having them, okay, this can be very helpful for that. Um, it also can help with expelling worms. Worms, unfortunately, uh, affect our health in a very, dire way and happens to be affecting quite a bit of the population I have recently learned where many of us would not even know it. So uh, blue cohosh is known by several names. Okay, you may hear it called women's best friend. Uh, it is also known as squaw root, papoose root, and it is also known as blue ginseng. Okay, so blue ginseng, papoose root, squaw root, women's best friend. They're all blue cohosh and all dangerous for you while you are pregnant. Uh, the Latin name for blue cohosh is Colophyllum phalloctroides. Okay, um, it is a North American herb and it has a stimulating effect on the uterus. That's really the biggest um, reason why uh, it's an amenagogue and why it has been used traditionally for inducing labor. So as I said before, it was known uh, only recently that there's these effects, I mean, Recently, I don't mean in the last few years, but um, historically it was used to induce labor and has since um, been shown to be dangerous. It has potentially life-threatening side effects. Um, you can use a homeopathic form of colophyllum that you can ask about, okay? Um, one thing as far as the mother is concerned is that uh, it has estrogenic effects. So it can act like estrogen specifically with the liver. And, um, you know, that's a hormone. So there's fluctuations all throughout your body. 
uh, with hormones. And so taking this can affect many different things. Um, also, it can cause uh, GI issues or gastrointestinal issues. Um, it can irritate the mucous membranes. It can uh, involve chest pain, cramping, diarrhea, gastritis, hyperglycemia, hypertension, nausea, and vomiting. You know, why would you want to add those things to your already tough issues in being pregnant? <laughs> And uh, it also constricts coronary arteries. Um, it seemingly decreases the flow of oxygen to the heart. Okay, so that's why it's dangerous really to the mother. Um, but let's talk a little bit more as far as the little baby that's growing inside of you. All right. Um, so, uh, and please excuse me if I'm looking down because I'm actually reading some information straight from my educational um, book and actually several different sources. Okay, so this is coming from uh, my Herb 303 <laughs> book written by Doreen Peterson, who has been the president of the American College of Healthcare Sciences for quite some time you now, around 40 years or so. All right, so uh, like I said, uh, this is in a metagogue, it does help the reproductive system, but when you're pregnant, it can actually be considered an abortive patient, which means it can cause an abortion of your baby. Um, traditionally, herbalists were and still are advised not to recommend or use blue cohosh during pregnancy, even nursing, and not for any children who are younger than 12 years old. A research study published in 2013 confirms this. Colophyllum phthalectroides contains the alkaloid N-methylcytosine. Now, in case you're unfamiliar, alkaloids, uh, they are constituents of some herbs. Constituents are the active ingredients, you could say. So uh, the active ingredient or alkaloid N-methylcytosine um, has been shown to be teratogenic. And you may ask, well, what does teratogenic mean? Okay, teratogenic uh, effects are very detrimental to, to the central nervous system, um, different, different places in your body. Uh, we all know that alcohol is not to be consumed during pregnancy. Alcohol is considered a teratogen. Um, and I am now going to quote from the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, where it reads that, uh, and it's speaking of teratogens here, um, it says that any time during pregnancy, it has the potential to cause birth defects and health problems in the baby, since the, the central nervous system is sensitive to teratogens the entire nine months of gestation, end of quote. The entire nine months. All right. Um, there are reports of symptoms consistent with nicotine toxicity when blue cohosh is used. Uh, these symptoms are likely to be caused by the N-methylcytosine. Um, there's also another alkaloid called anagyrene uh, that displays teratogenic effects at high concentrations uh, with blue cohosh, which cause major malforma malformations, excuse me, of the embryo. Um, there is a uh, note here of N-methylcytosine um, also can increase blood pressure, stimulate the small intestine, and produce hyperglycemia in a developing fetus. Blue cohosh also contains a constituent called taspine. This is chemically related to morphine. Um, it is cytotoxic, which means it kills cells, and it is lethal to embryos, even at low, excuse me, it says here, very low concentrations. Um, there are a few experiences, sadly, of some mothers using blue cohosh and uh, 
even one month before delivery, it has caused some babies to go into heart failure uh, and shock, um, seizures, renal failure, respiratory distress. Uh, in one case, the mother was advised to simply drink blue co-wash tea. You know, some people really think that teas are not very strong. They can't affect you very strongly, but they can, okay? Herbs can be very medicinal and they can be very powerful. And uh, so anyway, this one mother used this blue collage tea to induce labor. The infant experienced a seizure during delivery and two days later, it was discovered that the baby had experienced ischemic stroke. So it doesn't matter how far along you are in pregnancy. Again, remember all nine months of gestation. Blue co-wash is toxic uh, for many reasons. Um, and interestingly enough, in Canada, there are regulations uh, to where if someone is purchasing blue co-wash, there must be a label on the product to state that it is not to be used during pregnancy. Okay, so please remember, blue co-wash is dangerous during pregnancy. Do not use it in any form for any reason, okay, for, for any reason at all. And just a side note, if you're not pregnant and you decide to use blue cohosh, um, again, it does have some strong effects uh, with some systems in your body, especially the liver, the central nervous system, which involves your brain and spinal cord. Um, you need to think and research about the maybe current drugs, other herbs, or um, prescription drugs that you're using because there could be contraindications using blue co-wash and some other items. Okay, so be safe. I hope that everything goes smoothly with your pregnancy and I'm so happy for you once again that you're going to have this little smile to look at you every day. Um, yeah, so bye for now. Thanks for your time.